Finding sperm whales is definitely the tough part. We would have to go, you know, easily 20 kilometers offshore to go find whales. So normally, um, vigias or lookouts will look for whales from the shore. They're up in these towers, and so they can sort of spot blows and direct boats to the whales. But we're really just sort of on our own out in the open ocean, you know, with no land in sight. So we'd first, we'd, we'd, we'd go about it two different ways, either just by sight, you know, going up in the flying bridge and just looking for blows. But I mean, that could be tough, because if it's, you know, rough conditions, it's hard to tell a whale blow from a white cap. Um, and then we'd also use hydrophones, which is, um, they're basically underwater microphones, directional microphones. By stopping the boat from time to time and listening, you could sort of pinpoint what direction the whales were in. How's that? Okay, I hear that big male, I think, dive down that direction. And then head to go find them. But even then, it wasn't easy because once you found a whale, I mean, seeing a whale from the boat and then actually getting in the water, getting the camera in the water, swimming to the whales and I mean, you have to be just so incredibly close to the whales to get a decent shot, which is tough because, you know, swimming in open ocean for them is absolutely nothing. But, you know, when Rick is, you know, pushing around a 65-pound camera, it's, you know, tough.